This plugin is incredible. I mean, there are a lot of great plugins on the market. There is ProQ3, the CLA76, the Capitata, but this one's really special. And the craziest thing is that I feel like it makes the job of six plugins together. It gives you mixes more power, more glue, more energy, more life, more brightness, actually more everything. So I needed to talk about it today. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing great. Today, we're gonna talk about the Black Box Analog Design HG2 from Brainworks. We will first make a quick overview of the product and then we'll see how to use it and why it's a plugin that you need to have for your mixes. Before we start, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I release new information about music mixing. Let's go! So the Black Box Analog Design HT2 is basically a harmonic enhancer that emulates wonderfully the hardware unit of the same name, the only difference being... The price. This tool is designed to add saturation, harmonics, and compression to the process signal. This is also a mind-blowing tool for increasing the RMS level without changing the peak level. This plugin is mainly based on these two knobs in the center of the interface. These two parameters placed in series both emulate vacuum tubes, but their tone is actually very different because the type of vacuum tubes of each parameter is not the same at all. As you can see below each knob, the one on the left emulates the saturation of a pentode, while the one on the right emulates the saturation of a triode. The pentode is known to create even or the harmonics that are generally described as very musical, while the triode tubes create gritty harmonics, often also perceived as warmer. The fact that these two types of vacuum tubes are placed in series gives a unique harmonic richness to this tool, but we'll see that later. Let's look at the other important parameters of this plugin. On the far left of the interface, you can see a knob called saturation. Just to make sure we don't misunderstand, it's not an input gain knob. This knob placed in parallel allows you to adjust the balance between the direct and preset signal. So you can see this parameter as a dry wet knob. Just above you can see a notch knob with low, flat and high. This is simply the frequency range you want your plugin to focus on. So low for the bass and low mid range, flat for a wider processing and high to focus on the high and high mid range. Another interesting parameter is this little knob called alt tube. This knob simply allows you to switch tubes and get a harsher and more lively sound. And the last parameter I want to talk about is this air knob on the right. This part parameter will allow you at the end of the processing to add a touch of air to open up your mix slightly. Now the question is, how to use this plugin properly on your mix bus? I know it's a plugin that looks very complicated to use and I gotta be honest, that's true, it's not the easiest tool to handle. But the simpler you use it, the more effective it will be. So much so that for my projects, I almost never touch the parameters. I know it sounds weird, but let me explain more. When I have to mix a new project for a client, I always start from my mix template. So when I open a session, as you can see, I have many tracks, plugins and routing ready to be used. I also have a lot of plugins in my Mixbus track. And the first one in this chain is the HG2. And in this template, I programmed this plugin to appear with very specific parameter values that are not the default settings. Check it out. All tube on, saturation knob at 52%, Toad at 52% and triode at 52%. Here are my settings. But you might ask, why did you choose these very specific values? Well, after like two years of use, I tried a lot of different parameter values, but each time I always came up with this with the same values, which are the ones I'm showing you today. That's why I decided to put them directly in my templates. And I almost never changed these values for my mixes. The only parameters I sometimes change during the mix is the tone knob. I sometimes switch from high to flat to process the whole signal rather than just the high end range. But other than that, I never touch it. So this plugin is either bypassed or active and that's it. But you can use this plugin however you want, but I think this is the most efficient way to use it. All right, now, Let's listen to what you've been waiting for since the start of this video, the audio examples. I'm gonna play three different mixes before and after the HD2. Try to focus on the energy, the general power, the brightness, the openness, but also the character of each mix. And you will be blown away. No, let me show you. Been killing the game since 02. Krillin to my Goku. You my Padwan, you Grogu. Worldwide and you local. Sent 
ideas and new vocals. Expanding is the focal point. Yeah, we got another joint. Just so she said, Boy, come here, let me make it crystal clear. Don't wanna hear another word to tell the truth. I don't care. I know you'll never be the one I love. So tonight, I only want good bombs. Boy, come here, let me make it crystal clear. Don't wanna hear another word to tell the truth. I don't care. I know you'll never be the one I love. So tonight, I only want good bombs. I came to blow it up. I got bombs with me. Wu-Tang in the cut, I got bronze with me uh, We the main event, you niggas junior varsity My, my path cutting right through, nigga, pardon me So smooth I think the sounds speak for itself I'm not going to make a big conclusion on these audio examples Because I think I'd be just repeating myself But even if you don't have a lot of experience or a trained ear for mixing you can still clearly hear the energy that comes out of this plugin. It's subtle, but at the same time, very impressive. I think simply put, it makes everything sound better. And also it gives like more life to mixes. If you want to buy this plugin, I put a link in the description. Right now it's priced at $35, but given its success, I'm sure it will increase in the coming weeks. So don't hang around. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it interesting if you were hesitating to buy this plugin i hope now you have a better view of it you can think whatever you want but personally i think it really makes the job of six plugins together and for this price it's hard to miss if you have any questions about this plugin please put them in the comments i'll be very happy to answer them and also make sure you drop your like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video see you soon bye bye